Hi all, here are three tricks uh, you should know if you're working with Grafana dashboard. Number one, so Grafana has uh, dashboard variables. You can access this by going to a uh, dashboard settings screen. So here I'm in one of our dashboards and I can hit this dashboard settings icon. And on the left sidebar, I hit variables. So you can define a bunch of variables here. So I have defined few variables that are custom variables. You can have queries, uh, text box, or constant. Uh, so let's look at one of the uh, query variables. So I have a variable called instrument, and these this instrument variable is being filled by the query uh, that I've uh, included here, and it gives me name some name of the instruments. Once this is set up, you'll see. Uh, a drop down with the with your variables now there are a few ways you can use this so you can use this in the data query itself so if i switch uh, variables it it it's actually updating uh, the query that's running on these panels and to do that all you have to do is use the dollar sign uh, in in your query and it'll list the available variables so basically here this instrument field this will be replaced by whatever is selected uh, right here so now this query is running for instrument 5 so now it's running for instrument 2 and so on and so forth you can also use these variables in the panel options so here uh, whenever I change this variable here my panel title as uh, changes as well because I'm calling this variable p underscore value uh, so as I change this my panel title uh, changes as well so that's that's another way to use the variable and you can use the variable anywhere in the in the panel so let's say I want to use a variable name as a display name I can use it I can use it right here uh, number two organizations and users so Grafana has inbuilt organization management as well as user management uh, you can create multiple organizations you can assign different users to organizations, uh, give them read uh, uh, editor access, and you can also assign users to the team. So just a quick overview. So let's say you're on your dashboard uh, home screen. To create an organization, you can come to the bottom left corner and hit organizations. This will give you an option to create uh, organization you can also update previous uh, set organization similarly you will also have options to create a user uh, you can have teams which can have multiple users you can have a, for example in this scenario i have a pdi dev and a pdi u, u, uh, viewer so viewers only have uh, read only access and the dev has a bunch of other options Similarly, you can assign these uh, individual users to different organizations as well. So now to give access to a particular user to a particular dashboard. So let's say I want to give someone uh, access to just home. I can click on home, hit settings, hit permissions, and I can add a permission uh, here. I can either add a user or I can add a team. So I can uh, specifically type the name of the user that should have access to this uh, screen or I can assign a particular team uh, to this dashboard as well. Similarly, you can do the same thing with a whole folder. So let's say I want to give access to someone, uh, access to this instrument inside folder to someone, I can just hit uh, the folder icon and assign my permissions right here. A uh, very useful feature uh, and it comes right out of the box. Um, panels now this is pretty obvious uh, but Grafana has a lot of third-party panels that can help you uh, with uh, dashboard customization so to go to the panel screen you can go to settings and hit plugins and here you can find uh, data sources and we're looking for panels and so a few of my favorite panels are infinity API and Using this, you can actually uh, call any REST APIs uh, on uh, Grafana. 
and I've been using this feature a lot lately. Some other popular plugins are uh, Base64 and using this you can actually have an image uh, in, in, in your dashboard. A uh, quick example of uh, Base64 is right here. I'm using B64 images right here to tell me the state of my equipment. And, and there are some other plugins like Plotly and Apache eCharts uh, that gives you much more customization than uh, than the inbuilt Grafana, uh, Grafana dashboards. Whatever your use case uh, may be, there might be a plugin that can help you out uh, in your application. And you'll still have to work around Grafana's limitation, uh, but I, I, I believe most of the things can be easily achieved by some third-party plugins. So I hope these three tips and tricks helped. Please uh, feel free to use the comment section below if you have any questions or if you want to discuss any particular use case uh, that you feel like isn't yet supported on Grafana. I'll be happy to hear your thoughts. Uh, thanks.